A call to President Biden today to take unilateral action to help defray the cost of housing and caring for the nearly 12,000 migrants who have arrived in Chicago since last summer. Political reporter Scott Schneider is live in studio with details here. Scott? Yeah, Anthony and Natalie, Congressman Chuy Garcia today joined a growing chorus of local Democrats asking the Biden administration to do more to shoulder the growing financial burden for housing and caring for the asylum seekers, taking up residence in police stations, staying in makeshift shelters, and just this week, attending Chicago public schools. President Biden talks often about the soul of the nation. It's time that we remind him that we are also a nation of immigrants. And with anti-immigrant Republicans in control of the House, executive action is the only way that we can make the policy change to meet the moment. This year alone, more than $100 million has been spent to house, feed, and care for the influx of asylum seekers. Garcia says some of those costs could be deferred if the Biden administration would expand parole and work permits for both new and long-term migrant workers. The congressman reminding the White House that immigrants are taxpayers, too. Illinois immigrants contribute over $9.8 billion in federal taxes and $5.2 billion in state and local taxes. Immigrants have done their part, and it's time the administration does theirs. Now, for its part, the Biden administration has asked Congress for an additional $600 million to be distributed to cities like Chicago, New York, and L.A. However, there is no plan to allow undocumented asylum seekers to take jobs at this time.